Now that the leading edge has been found, investigators believe they finally have all the pieces of the plane. We were really excited because it's important. You want to do your best to understand what happened in an accident. And if you didn't have the key part, there would always be questions. Right away, they noticed something unusual. The evidence indicated that the leading edge upper surface holes were absolutely clean, no elongation, no damage. But the holes that hold the piece to the bottom of the stabilizer look quite different. Uh, the lower surface holes onto the leading edge were elongated. They were cracked, as if you have pulled it through the fasteners. The missing piece was found over a 1,000 yards southwest of the tail section. There is no question it was the first piece to fall off the plane. Look here, look here. Absolutely perfect on top, but destroyed at the bottom. The fact that the screw holes on the top of the leading edge aren't damaged presents a frightening prospect. It looked like there was no screws attached onto the top surface of the horizontal stabilizer leading edge. The discovery presents the team with two important questions. Why were the screws missing? And could losing this actually cause the plane to crash? The leading edge improves the aerodynamics of the plane, but it's not a moving part that controls direction. It's hard to see how losing it would cause the plane to plummet from the sky. At that time, I was kind of a, a surprised that losing a composite leading edge would actually cause such a severe impact. Now that all the pieces of the plane have been found, the investigation moves to NTSB headquarters in Washington, D.C. Well, we're just trying to put all the pieces of the puzzle together and try to make sure that we understood what the motion of the airplane was after the leading edge radius broke off. The horizontal stabilizer is like an upside down wing. It pushes the tail down while the wings lift it up. Reducing the force of the stabilizer lifts the tail and makes the flight unstable. There were still questions about maybe the, it would still be controllable. And so we did an engineering simulation to try to see if maybe there was a way that the airplane could still fly after it lost the leading edge. But we found that it really was not a controllable situation. After the leading edge radius broke off of the airplane. It was a negative 5G pitch over. Once the angle of attack exceeded the negative limits, it actually broke the wing apart. So it was not a survivable event. The simulations are conclusive. Losing just one leading edge along the horizontal stabilizer will send the plane into a catastrophic nosedive. Precisely what witnesses say happened to Flight 2574. If there's any component of, of the wing that you don't want to lose, it's the leading edge. The team now knows what triggered the crash, the loss of the stabilizer's leading edge. 